KG and Ringy Quick Hitter. Bullet Coins. The Coin Shooter. Starring Ringmaster Tim. Everyone in the metal detecting community is on perpetual lookout for cool coins and beautiful bullets as signals get unearthed in fields, yards, and beaches around the world. I think I found the nectar sector. But what happens when the two meet? That's right. When you've detected as long as we have, you eventually run into a few coins that have met this strange fate at the hands of rowdy ranchers or competitive cowboys. KG and I have found tons of firearm-related pieces, including the usual bullets, casings, cartridges, and even the guns that fired them. Some of the older head stamps, like anything else, can be rare and collectible, but what I think is even more fun to find are these coins that have been blasted by gunfire. And it's not just the good old USA. Our buddy Chris found this one in England a few months ago. Pretty good shot, but those big pennies are a lot easier to hit than ours. Check out this perfect hit, Dead Center. I just found this 1964D copper penny a couple of weeks ago at an old campsite, and this is the coin that gave me the idea for this video. Well, that penny and these next ones from earlier in the year. About six months ago, I was out detecting an old foundation with my bodyguard, Kane, and we started pulling up Lincoln pennies by the handfuls. So weird. We were like, what the f***? We found over 200 coins and eventually figured out why. Some of the scents had varying degrees of bends in them as well as reverse imprints of other pennies on them. I think what happened was somebody shot a few complete rolls of pennies hitting one end of the roll, causing them to explode all over the place. Humans, what are you gonna do? We had a few laughs digging all those signals, but the coolest finds ever in this little realm of ricochets are the two or three lead strips we found back in 2005 and 2011. In 2005, KG found a lead strip we featured in the EMD DVD series that was covered with 22 impact marks, as well as a few nearly perfect reverse images of V-nickels, both front and back. One was clearly dated 1899. When the bullets hit the coins, they caused the mirror images to be set in the lead for us to find a hundred years later. Pretty darn cool find, but we never did find the actual coins. And then six years later, I found this set of lead strips at a completely different site in Montana, which also contained nickel impressions, except this time they were buffs. I guess that just goes to prove that there were lots of rootin', tootin', gunslingin', nickel-pluggin' cowboys out here back in the day. Gotta love the Wild West. It's just a fact, a simple fact of life on the Wild West range. So get out there and find yourself a punctured penny, a notched nickel, a damaged dime, a cracked quarter, a hold half, or a dented dollar. See you next time. Ringy out. Quick hitter.